This is Gary Vee's go-to digital marketing strategy. He's mentioned it several times, so I'll play the clip of what he's talking about, and then I'll show you how to technically implement it. Here you go. Google search is enormously important. There is an ad product that Google allows you, which is somebody searches on Google something, but then on YouTube, you have the ability to do a pre-roll video based on what they search on Google. To start, let's open up Google Ads. Tap create a new campaign, select video, scroll down to audiences, select custom audience. Choose this option and add your keywords. Do you want to upskill or change your career in 2021? The UK government has just released over a thousand hours of free online trainings. It includes everything from coding to graphic design to business leadership skills. And for marketing specifically, it includes over 120 hours on all of these topics for free. And the best thing is that this is open to anybody in the world, not only UK citizens. I've left the link in the comments below. And let me know what you think. You guys want to know the best marketing I've ever done. When I first launched my business, no one knew of me, obviously but my one or two competitors were actually quite large. They were getting about 4,000 monthly searches. So I set up a Google ad and I put in their brand name as the keyword. So whenever someone searched for them, my ad came up. Basically, I outbid them on their own brand name. This not only generated so much traffic, but also got me a bunch of sales. To date, it is the best marketing tactic I've ever done. If you're just starting out and you have a small budget, I highly recommend this strategy. If you've got a competitor that is bigger than you and that has a lot of monthly searches, make sure to bid on their brand name. If you wanna find out how many monthly searches they've got, go to Google Keyword Planner. This is how I got mentioned in Forbes twice by sending a single email. If you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur, you need to be signing up for a service called Harrow, AKA help a reporter out. Harrow is a completely free service that journalists use to say that they're looking for sources to talk about a specific subject for an article that they might be writing. So if you are interested in being mentioned in the media, all you have to do is sign up for the newsletter. It'll be delivered to your inbox every single day. And you scroll through the list of Harrow requests and see if there are any that are relevant to your business or your expertise or your knowledge. Then all you have to do is send them an email with your tips or your insight or your availability to talk to them about that article and make sure that you're actually responding to ones that are relevant to your expertise. And you can end up getting a major media placement by sending a single email. This has happened to me several times. If you have any other questions about PR or media exposure, let me know. I'm a former publicist and I'm happy to help out. Just drop a comment below. As you guys would know, when you start your business, no one knows about you. One of the main ways I got brand awareness was targeting my competitors. I did this through Google ads and I'm going to show you how. In Google Ads, select New Campaign, select Website Traffic and Search. Put in your website and untick Display Network. Select your country and do not add an audience. Set your budget and set the focus on clicks, not conversions. Let's say I'm a candle company. This is where I put in my competitor names. On the right, you can see how many clicks Google expects my ad to receive based on those keywords. Do not use these recommended keywords in your ad. That's bad practice. Instead, put in your details and wow factors and you can hit publish becomes highly unethical when you put your competitor's name into the ad itself. You can put in words that they're well known for. Think of your competitor's wow factors and put them into the Google ad instead. Let me know how you go.